TLO, what's poppin'? We are on kick, K-I-C-K dot com. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, if we do go live and you haven't missed it, this is where we'll be. And don't forget, we did drop merch today. I mean, we got merch, you know, check it out. I do appreciate everybody who did buy some. You know, that's real, that's love. You know what I'm saying? Just check it out if you don't have time to buy it. You can still check it out, man. Uh, we do have the Patreon as well, uploading Sherlock today. So, yeah. This is, it's easy to get a weapon into the UK. I don't know about that. I believe it's getting, if we, if I would have to say something, I believe, hold on, we almost have one minute. I believe it's probably nowadays getting easier because I did hear a lot about like Dracos being there. I hear a lot of Glocks being there now, but it's super expensive. You can't just go like buy one like and expect like it not to be like seven, eight, nine bands. Oh, it's for the rain, huh? Okay. Uh, not like, you know, any city like, like, okay, I'm from Chicago. Like Chicago, you could probably get a, get a pipe. It ain't going to be a good one, but you can get one, probably 150. You know what I'm saying? And I don't condone none of this. I'm not glorifying or anything. I just want everybody to know my experience and compare it to what they're experiencing around the world. You get what I'm saying? Uh, let's just check it out, man. I'm on my way to meet a man who claims to smuggle guns into the UK. Sky News can reveal the National Crime Agency has noted an alarming increase in firearms on our streets. This is three years ago. And Sam is part of the problem. I like it. Yeah. Good gun. Yes. Don't point it at me. This has come through for He took my good gun. Boy, you ain't never shot no nail. Your... No, my bad. A good boss, but the original is from Belgium. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they bring it to Gambia. You got it from Belgium, very, very cheap. Very cheap. Yeah. How much in Belgium? By this, 600 euros. 600 euros. So, yeah. 600 euros is crazy. I'm not even going to say what you can get for 600 in Chicago. And how much is it worth here? Uh, yeah, 2,000. 2,000? <laughs> Yo, okay. 2,000. 800 pounds. 2,000. 2,800. Yeah. Sam, not three bands for a six shot. I mean, I mean, you know, for the steppers, that's the choice. But you know, his real name bad. says he uses this gun himself that he's paid yeah. by drugs gangs to do their dirty work. For money. Right. You've it's used bad. it three. Have used it three times. Third time. Third time. Third time. Ten times. Third time. Oh, ten times. Ten times. National Crime Agency fears there are more guns in the hands of organized criminals than ever before. It confiscated 104 illegal firearms in 2017-18. That should tell you something, like, criminals are gonna get guns no matter what. No matter what you put in place, no matter what, they will find a way. It don't matter. So how are, how are the citizens protecting themselves in the UK? How are the police protecting the citizens? The police that also do not carry firearms. 18, that rose to 168 the following year, but in the last 10 months alone, they've already seized 425 guns. So the Whoa. 100% increase plus 200% almost over from 2019 to 2020. I wonder what this is looking like now. Quantity has quadrupled in three years. Would you say there are more than ever before? It feels that there's more than ever before. And if you look at the statistics that we've got, the seizures are on the increase. Um, yes, that means we're being more successful at, at obtaining them, but also- I know Chicago, if you get caught, like if you get caught for any minor traffic offense, drug offense by the police, they pull you over. They used to ask you, do you have a gun on you? If you have a gun, you give it to us, we'll leave you alone. We'll let you go. Even if it was a illegal firearm that you had, give it to them, go pick it up later at the station. They'll take it off the streets for the moment, then they'll let you go. Also, it could indicate that there's more available. It was like a get out of jail free card. Well. 
Forensic teams have had recent high-profile success in linking single weapons to multiple forensic teams have had recent high profile success in linking single weapons to multiple man. shootings so unused so called clean guns are preferred andy cook the chief constable of merseyside police had predicted i know in chicago they made it illegal for uh, illegal for ghost guns to be a thing ghost guns is where you could build a gun from scratch has no serial numbers it's illegal now as of last year i think um you know Predicted this I live in Florida now, so none of that matters to me. F Florida starting July 1st, you can walk around with a concealed weapon um, with no license, no license to conceal, no license to, no training, no nothing. You can have a gun. This is the South of America. Rise in clean guns coming in. I was right, it is going up. We're seeing far more newly inferred firearms, far more firearms that are being used for the first time, as opposed to firearms that are being used time and time again. That very clearly spells out a problem. When I first met Sam a few months ago, he explained how he got his guns in from Europe. I want to go to Belgium. Right. Belgium is not the gun, very easy. easy. You have too much gun there. Yeah. Because I be France, I buy the gun. All the time I go buy gun there. Yeah. And someone, some people did them in the jungle, and uh, some lorry, this company, and the driver, I don't know. Someone, he put the gun there and put the tracker. And, and they put a tracker on the lorry? On the tracker as well, and the people, they tell you, when I can you give you a passport, everything. You give you the pen number of the car. So the, so the lorry driver doesn't even know? Yeah, I don't know. I go to call a 10 gun, he call it, go five gun, and... I have my customer example, I give him five and ten. Guns are sometimes posted here from America, but in parts of Europe, it's legal to own decommissioned guns that criminals can convert back into lethal weapons. Criminals can buy those firearms perfectly legally and, and they will bring them into the UK. Obviously, as they reach the UK, they're either illegal before they get here or they're readily convertible, i.e. they can drill them out and make them an illegal firearm with great ease. Last year, this man, Stephen Spires, was convicted as part of a gang trying to import 95 guns into the UK from Dang. Europe. As with Sam's operation, the driver was seemingly unaware of his cargo. In August last year, a man was stopped in Dover with 60 guns concealed in his car panels. And this gang sailed their guns in from France and up the Medway in a private yacht. But the National Crime Agency was waiting. It was the largest haul of automatic weapons seized on the UK mainland. Poli Automat oh, wow. He say they're lobbying in Europe to try and make convertible guns illegal. Lovely gun. In the meantime, it's just a case of trying to stop people. That's like crazy, them. man. Be safe out there, man. TLO, leave a like, comment, man. I'm a little sick, man. I wanted to give one video today. I think I got strep throat, but, you know, we'll figure it out. I'm gone.